Hey guys, so today I'll be guiding you through the Nixie Attunement and WoW Classic. There are two separate versions of this attunement, however today I want to go through the Alliance Attunement first. But if you guys enjoyed this video, I'll make sure to make a Horde version as well. Now before we jump into the video, I want to tell you how you can use this guide. I mean you can either watch it from A to Z, or if you are stuck at a specific point throughout the quest chain, you can check out the description below and find the timestamps you need. But anyways guys, let's get into the guide. So, to begin the attunement guys, make your way to a camp in the burning steps called Morgan's Vigil. Now I don't know if you guys are new to the game or if you are veterans, but in vanilla you can actually pick up quests like this one at lower levels. This way you don't have to wait for the maximum level before you accept it. You can just simply pick it up at level 48, which I would actually recommend you to do. I mean, you never know if you are gonna do a dungeon while you are leveling up, and if you don't have this quest you guys, you can't be too sure that people will actually wait for you to go to the camp, accept the quest line, and then head back to the dungeon or wherever you may be. So make sure to accept the Dragonkin Menace quest from Helendis. Now one of the things that I especially love about vanilla is that a quote unquote random quest can take you on a long unexpected journey such as this one. And to be honest with you guys, this is one of the things that I kinda miss in retail WoW, because nowadays we have quest helpers that shows us exactly what to do. But anyways guys, before we get too carried away, let's get back to the attunement. So Helendis tells you that they have a problem with dragons in the burning steps, he needs your help to kill a bunch of dragonkin types that are located just outside of the camp. But just a heads up you guys, you might want to bring a friend or two to help you out with it, because most of the mobs will be elite, and yes yes yes, I know what you're thinking, you can easily solo 2, 3, 4 or even 5 elite mobs at a time, but it's actually way different than classic, elite mobs can and it will actually kill you guys, so that's why I would suggest you to at least bring one of your friends with you. When you're done with the quest, head back to Helendis who will give you the follow up called True Masters. Basically he asks you to deliver a letter to the elected ruler of Redridge Mountain and Lakeshire called Magistrate Solomon. The reason why Helendis wants you to deliver this letter is because he wants to know if there's anyone else who might know some more about this whole situation that's going on in the burning steps. So mount up you guys and deliver the letter to Solomon. Once you arrive to Lake Shire and you turn in the quest, he freaks out and tells you that Lake Shire might fall, especially if the town gets attacked by the Black Dragonflight and the Orcs. He then asks you to deliver the news to Bolvar Fordragon in Stonewind, because he's hoping that Bolvar will send some of his troops to Lake Shire. So obviously guys, the next step of this quest chain requires you to travel to Stonewind and talk to Bolvar. Once you make your way to Stonewind, Bolvar tells you that he doesn't want to send any of his troops based on pure speculations, because let's be honest guys, at this point nobody has solid evidence that anything is going on between the black dragonflight and the orcs, but he does ask you to talk to Lady Presto who's standing right next to him. The reason why he wants you to talk to her is because apparently she knows a lot of stuff about dragons and she might be able to shed some light on this whole situation. When you talk to her unfortunately she dismisses you and tells you that you have no idea what you're talking about and that nothing is going on. Despite of this Bolvar empowers you as a new deputy of Stonewind because as you know he's not willing to send any of his troops to Lake Shire without the confirmation, and it's now your job to figure it out. So he sends you back to Magistrate Solomon with his decree. So once again guys, mount up and make your way back to Lake Shire. Upon arriving to Lake Shire, Solomon seems pretty disappointed with Bolvar's decision, which is understandable, I mean he is the ruler of Lake Shire and it's his job to protect the village. He then sends you back to the burning steps to talk to a guy called Marshall Maxwell. Maxwell is not surprised by the information, since he's already aware of it. He then tells you that their commanding officer Marshall Windsor had already accumulated a lot of information about this whole situation, but unfortunately he was kidnapped, so they didn't really have a chance to share this information with anyone. Luckily there is one guy who was with the Marshal when they got attacked and when the Marshal got kidnapped. This means that he might know something that can help you locate the Marshal and hopefully get the information you need to Bolvar. Now once you talk to John, he tells you that the marshal was kidnapped by the dark iron dwarves, so obviously the next place you have to visit is BRD. Now in case you are new to the game, BRD is a dungeon, so you will have to find a group to complete this next part of the quest chain. But once you are inside of the dungeon, the task is actually pretty simple. You just have to kill Heinz Harrogate Gersten to obtain the prison key and then unlock the cell where the marshal is kept hostage. Now once you have found the place where he's kept hostage and you've unlocked the cell, he tells you some pretty unfortunate news. All the evidence he had obtained is completely 
completely lost and unrecoverable. He then asks you to deliver a sad news to Marshall Maxwell back at the camp. Unfortunately, Maxwell doesn't have any follow-up quests for you, and this might make you feel like that all of this was just a waste of time, because we're kind of back at square one again. But, 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 guys, you're actually far, far from being done with this attunement, and it probably won't surprise you when I tell you that you have to go back to BRD to continue this attunement. Now, once you have made your way back to BRD, you will have to kill trash mobs until you get a special item called a crumpled up note. When you have it, head back to Martian Windsor again and talk to him. Windsor tells you that the note contains some pretty important information about two dark iron dwarves called General Angerforge and the Golem Lord. The note also indicates that the information you initially thought was lost might not be completely lost after all. Now, before you actually make your way to the next part of the quest chain, I just have a little disclaimer because I don't want you guys to waste a ton of time in BRD. So here it goes. Make sure that at least one person in your group has the Shadow Forge key, because if no one has the guys, you won't be able to access the place where the two dwarves are located, and you would have wasted a ton of time. But anyways, let's get back to the guide. So once you have killed the dwarves and you have obtained the information, head back to Marshall Windsor once again. Windsor obviously seems pretty excited about the great news, and he asks you to help him escape the dungeon. But before you accept the quest, guys, do yourself a favor and make sure to clear some of the way. Trust me on this, guys. This will make the escort quest a lot easier to complete because you won't be dying every two minutes. Now, once you are at the entrance of the dungeon, he tells you to meet him back at Morgan's Vigil. So once again guys, make your way back to the camp. Once you arrive to the camp, Windsor is nowhere to be seen because apparently he's headed to Stonewind to confront Bolvar and Lady Prastor. It turns out that Windsor has actually located the Nixia, which no one else has been able to do. And that's the reason why he's headed to Stonewind. Now, can you guys actually guess who Nixia is? Well, remember how Lady Prastor was being kinda rude to you and also denying that anything was going on? Well, apparently she had really good reasons to do so because turns out it's actually not Lady Prastor but Onyxia in disguise. Now, before you can actually confront her, you have to make your way to the gates of Stonewind and talk to a guy called Squire Rowe. Once you talk to him, he will then summon the marshal for you. Now, before we continue the guide, I want to show you an awesome RP event that happens during this questline, so I hope you guys will enjoy it.
I don't know about you guys, but every time I see this RP event, I love it even more. But anyways, once you reach Volvar and Lady Presto, Windsor finally reveals that she's been a Nixie in disguise all along and that she's been spreading her influence all over Stonewind. But right before you actually get a chance to fight her, she turns all of the guard into dragonflies who you now must fight instead. Unfortunately, she disappears before you can actually get a chance to confront her and sadly Windsor sacrifices himself for the greater cause of the Alliance and ends up dying. But just imagine guys, if it wasn't for him, Onyxia would probably never have been revealed and who knows what would have happened to Stonewind. And if I have to be honest with you guys, it's amazing to see that a guy you probably never heard about saved Stonewind and it's so refreshing to see that we don't end up being the heroes in this tale, but that a quote unquote random NPC you met turned out to be one of the greatest heroes of the Alliance. But anyways, let's get back to the tunement because you're still not quite done with it. Now the next quest you have to complete is called the Dragon's Eye and this quest requires you to search all over Azeroth for a being who can help you restore the fragments of the eye. There is a small problem though, because Bolvar has no idea where this being can be found, he just knows that they do exist somewhere on Azeroth. So yeah guys, I mean without the guide this part would probably have been pretty tough. And let's be honest, it was probably pretty tough back in the day because everybody was at the same spot and we didn't really have YouTube videos explaining where to go next as we have today. I mean sure, we did have Totbot back in the day, but in the early days of vanilla everybody was at the same stages, so it was a lot tougher to complete. But anyways, it turns out that the being you are looking for is actually located in Winter Spring. And as you can see guys, it's not really an obvious spot and you have to do some jumping to get on top of the hill, so you can probably see why it took people so long time to find. Now once you make your way to the top of the hill, talk to the being. She then tells you that she can repair the fragment but she will need you to acquire an item called the blood of the black dragon champion. You can get this item by defeating an NPC called General Draxa. So guys, can you actually guess where you have to go next? If you guess BRD, that's pretty close, because the NPC you have to kill for the quest is located in the upper black rock spire. You will need an additional key to actually access the dungeon, and I will probably make a guide for this key as well. It's not really a hard boss, but you will obviously need a group to kill him. Now once you have obtained the item, head back to Winter Spring. And that's pretty much it guys, once you turn in this quest, you will get the amulet and you will finally be able to access Onyxia Slayer. So yeah guys, as you can see, it's a pretty cool question and probably one of the best ones in WoW Classic, at least in my opinion. I mean, it has a ton of lore, it makes you explore the whole continent, it even has a cool RP event which wasn't that common back in vanilla. I mean, what else could you ask for? So yeah guys, that's pretty much it for this guide. I really hope you enjoyed it and if you did, make sure to give it a like because it actually tells me whether or not you enjoyed enjoyed it. And of course, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss any future videos. But anyways guys, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video as well. Take care.